video I want to introduce to you an idea that I have that I want to uh, implement on this trip that I'm going across the United States on. Um, I'm gonna call them fireside or campfire side chats um, but essentially what I want to do is I want to teach principles and implications of Genesis in our modern world that we don't really think of normally because we're inundated with evolutionary thinking that we uh, uh, evolved, that mankind has gone from lesser to more advanced. While we see that in civilization, um, it's not what the Bible teaches. And if the Bible is an accurate record of the of the uh, history of the world, man has actually gone from being perfectly created to degradation. And that um, along the way, he's uh, progressed as he's turned towards God and implemented the principles of God into his daily living and civilization and um, and then began to degress when he turned away from God. Uh, if you read the Old Testament, that's an entire uh, uh, history or testimony of how man has grown close to God, to truth, to actual science, um, uh, which is knowledge and then digressed as he turned away from God and became self-sufficient or self-reliant uh, in, in the sense of not asking God, not depending upon God, not acknowledging God. Um, the New Testament tells us that simply God's main um, beef with us is that not only did he create us, but we ignore him, uh, even though it's obvious he's there. Uh, through the creation that he made and the design structure and the deep complexity and interrelatedness of creation. Uh, it's fairly obvious that God exists and the principles in which this world uh, runs upon that we've discovered uh, in our science um, is a, a testimony of God's character and of his um, uh, sustaining power. Um, now, I understand that not everybody believes that, um, and I think I understand that um, because if, um, as we get separated from God, we lose the ability to um, see God. Um, so some of it's our own, our own fault in that when we begin with an assumption that there is no God and that he has to prove himself in order to become uh, believable by us, that's going to send us down a path of uh, destruction because um, God tells us uh, in his word that his existence is self-evident. It's fairly plain to see. And if we'll just drop that uh, there is no God um, mentality and uh, that whole structure of thinking, um, we'll begin to see him. Uh, but it begins first by acknowledging him. So um, I'm going to... Um, trying to relay some of the concepts of a biblical history of, of the world from Genesis being the uh, truth of what uh, is our past rather than evolution uh, coming up by random chance. Um, as I do that, uh, certain things should become obvious and I hope that you'll be able to um, follow along in this. I'm, I'm going to do this uh, randomly as uh, uh, devotions um, as uh, God puts it on my heart. So stay tuned um, and uh, look forward to seeing those. Now I'm going to separate out the um, the travel videos from the uh, uh, campfire side chats uh, just so that uh, if you really don't want to hear me share about the Bible then you don't have to listen. Um, but you like the uh, camping stuff and the adventure of that, you can follow along. And then maybe, just maybe, um, I'll win your confidence enough that you'll listen to what I have to say about biblical history 
So, uh, I hope you enjoy these videos and God bless you. My whole purpose is to uh, give knowledge uh, and, and uh, the science that is rooted in reality of God to, um, to a thirsty world. Thank you. Thank you.